So I'm going to show you how to do a remote nuke and pave on a Mac, in this case an Intel Mac, because it doesn't have a T2 chip. We can't do an erase all contents and settings on it. So you have to kind of brute force say erase and install. So the, there is obviously a bunch of ways you can do that, but nice handy script to use is this erase install script. So what you can do is you install the package for erase and install, download this deployed via MDM to the target machine. It installs a script to the slash library slash management folder on the target machine. And you would just run the script via MDM because it needs to run as root. Uh, it, it does have a couple of dependencies. First off is MissCLI, which is awesome, which you should probably deploy to all your <laughs> Macs because it's super useful and it's much more reliable than the built-in software update command line tool. Another one is Swift Dialog, which allows you to pop up cool interactive user interface dialogues from scripts. So this will give you status updates and all kinds, all kinds of cool stuff. So I think you can run it without it, but I would recommend Missy Ally and Swift Dialog are two things I recommend you deploying by default to all your machines. So once you have those two things installed, so in my case, I've deployed, so I downloaded the erase install package, upload it to, in this case, the Mosul CDN, and then I created an install package profile for it, and I installed it to the target system. I probably would recommend not installing the script on every machine, just do it when you need to do it. So in my case, my install package profile only targets one machine. So this would be my test machine. Um, okay, so when you deploy that, if you wanted to just do a nuke and pave of the system, it's pretty simple. You go to the management tab and run, make a custom command. So I've created a custom command, this erase and install. And all the script does, it's very simple. All you have to do is run this script. And we're calling it with the fully qualified path, obviously, because we're running it via MDM as root. Um, if you want to know how this works, a bunch of options in the wiki for erase and install. So in this case, I'm following the number five, erasing Mac OS option, and it gives you a bunch of options, additional options that you can do. Um, so actually this script, I added the, in addition to the erase flag, I added confirm. So that's just kind of an extra safety mechanism in case you accidentally run the script, which would be terrible. Um, but if you're going to do a kind of a mass wipe systems or you, you need to wipe a system behind somebody's back, like you're offboarding somebody or whatever, uh, you would leave confirm off. But confirm will pull up a dialogue that pops up on the target device and it'll ask you, do you are you sure you want to erase all data? And then once you confirm, it'll do it. So, uh, so really all you need to do, it's really that simple. You just run the command. So I'm going to make sure I'm targeting it, targeting the right system. Okay. And then I hit save and make sure that execute when saving profile and hit save. Okay. So now if you go to the target system, and the cool thing about this script is it'll first check to see if there's a cached installer in the applications folder. You can see it's right there. So when I'm doing testing of an Intel Mac and I need to, I'm constantly rewiping machines and all that kind of thing, I'll, I'll, I'll download the installer and I'll put it on an external SSD and then I'll just copy it over to the applications folder so I don't have to spend time downloading it every single time from the Apple server. I do that first and then when you run erase install, it detects whether you've got one in there. So it doesn't, if it sees that you have an installer, it won't waste time downloading it again. So that's a really handy thing about this script. So now it's asking me, are you sure you want to erase? And I hit confirm. And that's what's cool about Swift Dialog is that it gives you all these cool dialogues that show the user what's going on, even though it's just a command line script. So uh, at least you know what's going on in the background. So we'll wait up to 30 minutes for this to complete. All right, so the device has been wiped and we're at the setup assistant screen, ready to be set up and enrolled as a brand new Mac. So the erase install script is super awesome for this. All it takes is just one command line flag and it does everything for you in one fell swoop.